Hello everyone! It's time for bed, so that means I'm going to read a bedtime story. The story I'm going to read to you tonight is Dragon Knight by J.R. Kraus. This is recommended by one of our awesome librarians, Mrs. Darger. So let's find out what it's all about. Georgie is afraid of the night. It's too dark with the lights off too quiet with everyone asleep, and being alone makes everything worse. Suddenly, Georgie's favorite book falls to the floor with a thump. The pages flutter open, sparking and crackling. A brilliant light fills the room, and a dragon steps out. Georgie has never seen a real dragon before. Shh! I'm running away, whispers the dragon. I'm afraid of the night. I'm afraid of the night too, says Georgie. Then let's run away together, says the dragon. Georgie scales the dragon's bumpy back. Together they launch from the window. The dragon spreads its great wings and up they soar high into the dark night sky. Far below, a carnival sparkles like pirate treasure. Merry music floats up with joyful cries. There is no night down there, says Georgie. There is no night, replies the dragon slowly, but there is a castle, so they fly on. Soon an endless blanket of city lights shines below. Horns honk and sirens wail on the busy streets. There is no night down there, says Georgie. There is no night, replies the dragon carefully. But there is a king, so they fly on. There's the king right there. He's on top of the Candy King Company building. Next, they soar over a bright, noisy baseball game. The crowd roars like a magnificent waterfall. There is no night down there, says Georgie. But there he is, replies the dragon, on a very peculiar horse. Georgie and the dragon fly on quietly. I think we are talking about two different things, says the dragon gently. Georgie is thinking, but why is a big dragon like you afraid of the night, he asks. Because the knight hates me, cries the dragon. He carries a heavy sword and he always wants to fight. Georgie doesn't know what to say. He never thought of it that way before. They sail silently down to a grassy field. You know, says the dragon, the night is dark, but it's not always scary. Georgie isn't so sure. Look, says the dragon, without the darkness of night, we wouldn't see the stars. Georgie had never seen shooting stars before. Listen, says the dragon, the night is quiet and peaceful. Georgie hears crickets play a soothing song. Before long, he curls up against the warm dragon and drifts off to sleep. But night doesn't last forever. As the sun rises, Georgie and the dragon swoop back home. Now the dragon is worried. In the daylight, everyone can see me. You need to hide, says Georgie. But there is no place big enough for the dragon to hide. Where would you hide a dragon? Now Georgie is worried. You belong in the book, he says. But I want to stay here with you, cries the dragon. A tear bubbles up and steams like hot tea. The dragon quietly sniffs. I'm still afraid of the night. I have an idea, says Georgie. I'll make a new book for you with a friendly knight. Will the knight carry a heavy sword, asks the dragon. Instead of a sword, the knight will have a baseball and a glove, replies Georgie. Will the knight want to fight, asks the dragon. Instead of fighting, the knight loves to play catch, replies Georgie. What if the knight doesn't like me, asks the dragon. Don't worry, says Georgie. I'll help you. He turns the page. A 
and draws a carnival with a carousel, a candy shop filled with tasty treats, a big empty baseball field, and the night waiting for a friend. The book is ready, says Georgie. You'll like this story. Thank you, replies the dragon. A dazzling light fills the room once again as the dragon steps into the new book and gently waves goodbye. Now every night after a flight, Georgie and the dragon snuggle up and read their new favorite book. Good night, says the dragon as Georgie turns the last page. Good night, says Georgie. Then together in the dark and quiet night, they fall fast asleep. Dragon was sure such a good friend to Georgie, wasn't he? So kind. Okay, good night, everyone.